even after all these years, has not decomposed. If we visited the Greek island of Corfu, we would see this for ourselves even today. In our icon of St. Spiridon, he's wearing a bishop's vestments, and on his head, head he wears a basket, and not surprisingly, his name Spiridon means basket. His basket hat seems to be a clear indication of his humility. Also in our icon, he's holding an object in his right hand. The object is a brick, which is on fire. The brick, the brick is also dripping water. This brick is quite significant and tells a story which, one, is a miracle, two, is a teaching tool, and three, is significant, significant to our thoughts today by showing us St. Spiridon's fatherly qualities. The story goes that Holy Bishop Spiridon used a potsherd or a brick to lovingly guide and teach a pagan philosopher about the Holy Trinity. After teaching and explaining about the Holy Trinity to the philosopher, the brick miraculously burns into flame, water dripped to the ground, and only dust remained in Spiridon's hand. Aside from the sheer drama and miracle of this moment with this philosopher, the fatherly love of the saint is what stands <coughs> out. That Spiridon's patience with this man and desire to share the truth and knowledge of God were stirred together into a perfect blend to come up with such a gentle yet powerful way of nudging this philosopher towards a full knowledge and experience of God is touching. It's a wonderful picture that, you, that can be imagined. The man in spirit and talking, the man a great thinker, a philosopher, smart yet dumb. Maybe he was full of himself. Maybe this was the first time his intellectual prowess was confronted by true holiness and true wisdom. The conversation may have gone on for some time before Spiridon's desire to share God with this man and love for this man inspired him to stop talking and merely show him. Can you imagine the philosopher's mouth wide open and unable to speak? Can you imagine the light turning on in his mind and in his heart? This is Spiridon. He is a loving father. He is a father to and for all of us. Do you need a loving father? God gives us himself, and God gives us many fatherly saints, and God gives us Saint Spiridon. Saint Spiridon, be a loving father to us. Saint Spiridon, pray to God for us. Amen. Amen.